I only got like one or two more examples left, so we'll get this up. All right, now, one of the first things that you guys learned, or at least that I always like to portray, um, again, my students, either in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2, is when you're dealing with fractions, or you're dealing with rational expressions, is stop dealing with them, right? Get rid of the denominator. Get rid of it. So one thing we can do, how can we get rid of this denominator? How can we get rid of this e to the 6x minus 14? What can we do? What are you going to subtract? 119 minus parentheses. But I need, to, I need to get this off the bottom. How am I going to get this off the bottom? Oh, multiply it on both sides. You're going to multiply it by what? By itself on both sides. You mu yeah, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. You don't need to multiply by both. Then you'll have 19. But yeah, you, all you need to do is just multiply it by e to the 6x uh, minus 14. And multiply it. I wouldn't multi if you're multiplying by the reciprocal, um, then you're going to now produce a 19 on the side, and you're just going to put it over there. But all you need to do is just put it over 1. Because then, now you have e to the 6x minus 14 over e to the 6x minus 14. Now they divide to 1, right? But then you have that over here. Ugh. Right? Because whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So these divide to 1. All right? So now I have 119 equals 7e to the 6x minus 7 times 14. Anybody just want to help me out? I'm just, what is it? 98. OK. Why did you I didn't cancel out something. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to solve, right? Just like you guys did for algebra equations, we need to isolate that x. But the problem is <laughs> our x is contained in this exponent right up here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to isolate our e to the 6x. And we'll show you what to do in here in a second. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add 98. OK, so that would be 217. Yes. And then divide by 7. And is that equal or anything? Thirty-one. Is the answer thirty-one? Yes. Okay. So therefore, then we'll get thirty-one equals e to the six x. All right. Not yet. Well, let's go and take a look. If what happens if we um, what happens if we convert it now to exponent or to logarithmic form, right? If I re rewrite this to logarithmic form, I have ln base e of 6x, so it's ln of 6x equals 31. Ah, uh, because remember the e is there. That's not really helping us out, right? I kind of need the x to be over here. I can't take the ln of 6x and be able to get my answer. So converting it to exponential form or converting it to logarithmic form is not really going to help me in this problem. All right? So I need another thing that I can do. So we go back to our properties of logs. You guys agree to me that log base 3 of x is equal to log base 3 of y. Therefore, x equals y. Correct? And if you do, if I, if I have 5 equals x, if I multiply by 3 on both sides, my equation is equivalent. Correct? As long as I do whatever I do on one side, I do on the other side, right? You produce equivalent equations. And you guys understand that if you have the same um, log with the same base, then what you're evaluating for is equal to each other, right? OK. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what we can do is why don't we then, since we can apply different operations, why don't we take the ln on both sides? Let's take the ln of both sides. And the reason why we want to take the ln is because what is the base of ln? E. So what is 
ln base e of e. Does anybody remember what that is? 1. And if I had that to the x, that's equal to x, right? That's your property log. So therefore, guess what? I have ln base e of e. That's now just going to be equal to 6x. So now my problem is ln of 31 equals 6x. Divide by 6, divide by 6. x equals ln of 31 divided by 6. So now it's simply all we got to do. So you then you go back to your calculator. And you just say, all right, let me do ln of 31 divided by 6. And I get 0.57. So x <laughs> equals 0.57. Right below the log. Yes. 